Good evening, President. I call every one of you because I have an announcement to make. The Dardar Group of Companies is celebrating its 100th anniversary of this year. Our company have already established its legacy in the hearts of all our stakeholders. I believe that we all want to make our company sustainable and to pass our legacy to the future generations. So as to celebrate our big milestone, let us make a competition. Specific details are in your folders. I want each of you to form a team of three people to represent your respective subsidiaries. All employees are allowed to participate except those who are part of the top management team and those who are in managerial and supervisorial position. I want these names on my desk next Friday at 7 a.m. meeting adjourned. Action. Fix your shoe. Ah, go, go, go. Balika. Hello? Hello. Hello, ma. Mm. No, get it on, get it on, what I got enough more. Hmm? Eh, kulang naman nagpo-push sa akin eh. Ay naku ma, huwag ka nga magsalita ng ganyan. Hmm. Opo. Naiintindihan ko naman po kayo ma. Pero, pero mamatagal pa kayong mabubuhay dito. Ano ka ba ma, pag naging CEO ako, dadalhin pa kita sa, Dis sa Disneyland, di ba? Oh, siya promise, promise ma. Opo, opo. Opo. Um Ma, ito, ito. As soon as possible, pag hindi na naging busy sa work, uwi ako sa Davao, okay? Uwi ako din sa Davao. Opo. Opo. Sige po, mag-iingat din po kayo, okay? Okay po. Bye-bye, ma. Bye-bye. I love you po. Bye-bye. Kasi nagka... Diba? Go. Okay, away, go. I know you're wondering why I called you here, but I'll just be I'll, I'll just be quick. This is an announcement from the CEO of our parent company, the Dardar Group. 
in celebration of her upcoming centennial anniversary, he decided that to make a competition among the subsidiaries. He told us to form a team of three young people to, re to represent our, our company. And since you are one of the top three young employees here, and along with Dino, Aki, Akino, and Jenica. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've worked with them before. Okay, that's good, that's good. Well, you guys can start because okay, okay. this strategic planning competition. So we're going to be a team. Yes, yes. Would that be all? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. Good luck. Next would be Bestel Analysis. 
First, P is for the political factor. The various political factors are represented by the influence of political entities on the national, regional, as well as international level. Next would be the economic factor. Elements such as supply and demand on the oil price, exchange rate, prices of the barrel on the important stock exchanges, regional and global economic situation, value of the known reserves, interest, and value of the stock indexes all represented the economic factor of the oil and gas industry. For social factor, the different factors are demography, culture, ethnic structure, and religion structure. We also have the competitive profile matrix. The critical success factors consist of price, quality of product, market share, distribution channel, financial position, customer loyalty, brand reputation, and advertising power. Good morning, everyone. We are presenting Denver Brewery. My name is Alexa Meneses. And I'm Agatha Soriano. And I am Kylie Antonio. Denver Brewery is a leader in the alcoholic beverage industry. Threat of new entrants is high because foreign brands may choose to enter the Philippine market. Bargaining powers of suppliers are low to moderate, while the bargaining powers of buyers have a low switching cost. Rivalry among competing sellers is high because competition in the international market is increasing and new variety are introduced every day. Good morning everyone. We are the DD Best Foods Group. My name is Joaquin Rodriguez. My name is Akeno Natsu. And I'm Jenica Veloso. So just to recall our mission statement, it is nourishing and nurturing families worldwide. Mission vision proposition is every sector of the business, suppliers, shareholders, and employees get what they deserve. DD Best Foods vision and mission statements describes the destination as to where the company wants to go to and also answer what the company currently does and even explains what they will do in order to achieve this. For our external analysis and EFE matrix, we have moderate, weak, strong, weak, and back to moderate, threat of new entrants, consistent market shares of top brands, threat of substitute products, no direct substitute, different benefits, the strong buyer power, better quality variations, high customer influences, weak supplier power, then own manufacturing plants in various areas of the country. For the moderate, rivalry among existing competition, unmoving company shares and brand shares. Here we have an opportunity of rising private consumption and demand. As you can see, we gave it a weight of 4, a rating of 10% and an overall score of 0.4. Next, we have an increase in automation and business. We gave it a, a measly 2, 10% rating, and a 0.2 overall score. For our, for our threats, 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 um, for and for the threats, we have the decreasing growth of poultry, a score of 0.6. Consumers are also choosing healthier alternatives to con goods, in which we gave a score of 0.45. Next, we have high competition, a weight of 2 and an overscore of 0.2, and a lack of customer loyalty for an overall score of 0.45. Let's start with the horizontal analysis. There's been a steady growth in sales until it plummeted down by 25.36% in 2015, and this can be assigned to the drop in sales in the petroleum segment. However, Radar Petroleum Corporation was able to cut down their cost of goods sold by 29.08% in spite of the rising trend in the past few years. By lessening the cost of goods sold, the decrease in sales did not affect <coughs> Radar Petroleum's gross profit negatively. In fact, it was able to boost gross profits up to 63%. Cost of goods sold, percentage, share to revenue. In year 2013, you'll see that we have 95% and an increase of 0.97% in year 2014. However, there's a sharp drop in year 2015 with a 91.19%. For our internal strength, we have, we have a skilled workforce, a very strong brand quality, an admirable customer service, and fuels tailor fit for Philippine driving conditions. And we have a major strength, which is technological innovation. And what they do specialize in these certain fields, they also have internal weaknesses that they could also improve on. Such as brand portfolio, corporate politics, cost structure, 
oil harnessing capacity is becoming easy to replicate, and heavy dependence on importation. Good morning! Denver Brewery is back! I'm Alexa. I'm Kelly. And I'm Agatha. So first, we have value chain analysis. For Denver Brewery's primary activity, for supply chain management, Denver Brewery contracts third-party suppliers for its main ingredients. For operations, Denver Brewery operates in six countries. For corporate social responsibility, our company exerts the effort to maintain and take care of the environment. Our IFE matrix shows that our company has its minor and major strengths. Its minor strengths are having large product line for beer, and strong marketing and advertising with a rating of 3. But they also have their major strengths, which are strong financial position, market share leadership, strong brand equity with a rating of 4. However, Denver Brewery also has its major and minor weaknesses. Its major weaknesses is that it's dependent on import raw materials and its minor weaknesses are its low online presence and reliance on beer products. And with that, we have a total of 2.95, which means the company's strengths overcome its weaknesses. Good morning, everyone. Again, we are the DD Best Foods. And now we are to present the financial and internal analysis and IFE matrix. I am Joaquin Rodriguez. Again, I am Akeno Natsu. And I am Jenica Veloso. So next, we are to present our financial horizontal analysis. As you can see here in our income statement, next slide please, we can see that the DD Best Foods has an increasing trend of revenue from operations and with a compound CAGR rate of 3.59% every year. More so, the company has done well in maintaining and lessening their product costs. Despite those positive rates, the annual growth rate in net income has only rose to 1.86% per year. Furthermore, we can see that the company has a decreasing net income in years 2013 and 2014. The cash and cash equivalent accounts of the company fell during 2012 and 2015 but spiked during 2013 and 2014, achieving a relatively increasing annual rate of 13.45%. The company may have invested in their fixed assets since it increased during 2012 and 2015. Overall, the total assets only achieved a close zero annual growth rate. And the company seemed to fund their assets through their equity more than their liability since there is a decreasing trend in their total liabilities and growth in the total equity and producing a negative 2% and a 1.29% annual growth rate. Respectively, based on the trend of the total equity, the company have been growing over the five-year period. Over the five-year period, the company has generated a relatively constant proportion of the net income and gross profit to the revenue from operations. In addition, our gross profit has increased by 4%, which may show that the company has possibly done well in the supply and cost management. So as you can see here for our IFE matrix, our heaviest and most important key internal factors are wide variety of products, range of operations, and increasing market penetration. While strong commitment to innovation of products has been has a relatively important weight. For the company's major weaknesses, it's dynamic market environment. We have a hard time of fixing that. Then the slow growth of new products and the effect of expanding product portfolio to production of goods.
Leaving to get Wait lang, bakit may presentation friends in a box? Kala ko ba nakuha mo yung files? <laughs> nakuha ko siya, tas binura ko. Kasi sobrang lasing niya ng night na yun. So yun, muna silang presentation. Oh my god. Wow, girl. So ikaw pala yun. Sir, good morning, colleagues. Once again, we are Radar Petroleum, and my name is Fight Montemayor. My name is Greg Sonko, and I am Zachary Go. The Night Cell Diagram shows the different strategies that the company may use for the betterment of the company. Taking into consideration that Petron, with its IFE and EFE scores, falls under the grow and build stage, which means that the company is advised to use intensive and aggressive strategies. These particular strategies must fo focus on market penetration, market development, product, and product development. Also, 
The company should also consider forward and backward and horizontal integration to improve the operational side of the company. And for our key strategic issues, first we have the market deregulation. And second, the highly dependent on imports for oil. Given the three alternatives suggested by our group, this is our final recommendation for Radar Petroleum. By providing fuels that are tailor fit to Philippine driving conditions, that are locally produced, formulated, and tested, that are world-class fuel that adhere to global Euro 4 standard. That will result to unique and wide range of fuel products. That said, this should educate consumers on performance benefits of each product, as well as the machines or vehicles for each product, and increase awareness on the differences of products. This should all ultimately result to market penetration. Good morning, everyone. Again, we are DD Best Foods. So now we are here to present our strategy analysis. So as you can see, DD Best Foods is located at the um, fourth quadrant. So with our grand strategy matrix, DD Best Foods is located at the, again, fourth quadrant with a strong competitive competition as well as strong market growth. So here is our SWOT analysis. This is our SWOT analysis as well as our TOAST matrix. We have plentiful in our strengths opportunities and weakness opportunities. We have innovating and expand product lines to expand and cater to a new market, ranging to increasing manufacturing and product output for high demand for production. For our WO, we have increased productivity through, new through the use of new technology, ranging to expanding to production of goods would be faster and more efficient. Here's how we will implement. There are two major implementations, which is backward integration and research and development. With backwards integration, you can see the four major branches, which are, which are acquisitions, employee development, expand manufacturing, production, and distribution facilities and cost-based and differential pricing. For research and development, we have competitor advantage, innovation and product development, new health standard substitutes, healthy living choices, consumer demand trends, and market penetration and expansion on dynamic food environment. And now for the evaluation and controlling of our plan. So for the first perspective, we have financial. Here we will measure the sales, ratios, stock price, cost, and profitability. Next, we have the customers. Here we will measure the customer complaints, sales returns, and products per segment. So ladies and gentlemen, that was our strategic plan. I hope that you were able to appreciate our plan. Because like you, we want DD Best Foods to be at their best and remain the best in the industry. We are DD Best Foods. Thank you so much. Yeah. Suka kau nanti, Ji. Ya, new color. Hi. 
Gustos mo, Kyle. So guys, let's do this.